My name is uh, Thompson Isiki. I'm a building technologist. Uh, I've been in the profession for quite some time. That has been my profession. I came into this ministry in the year 2018. To be very precise, it's 15th of August 2018. I have some issues as at that time. I had this issue with my wife that she needed urgent attention, spiritual attention. We were directed to TMP Ministries. That was when I met with the prophet. It was a Sunday. And uh, after service, he attended to us. And the way and manner he received us was quite a shocking one, you know, as compared to what one would expect from some men of God, especially after such service. It was as if he had not held any service that day, you know. He came humbly, he humbled himself, spoke to us, asked us questions, and uh, he asked the pastors to pray with us. He himself was there. And, uh, that was how I came into the ministry. And since then, I've been in. This is precisely about four years plus. Yes. Can you tell us something? I believe it's not enough to be told, hey, that man is a genuine individual. Yeah. Or he's got solution. Yes. That's being told. Yeah. What personal experiences would you relate the uh, uh, you makes him unique, genuine. Yes. yes. Okay. You know, there are things you see and hear that sometimes they are not what the result is not what uh, you expect. You know, but in his own case, when he the very first day he came into my house. That was about two weeks. After two weeks, I came to the church. He mentioned some few things that came to pass in my life, you know, my family's life. He mentioned the marriage of my daughter. He mentioned some few things about our personal lives. Can you tell us who? Yes. Who? Okay. Oh, okay. A little more about that. Yes. My my daughter wasn't actually right for the marriage. In fact, I was uh, preparing her for a master's uh, degree, preparing you know how to for a, uh, a school, you know, for how to attend another university. When the prophet came, in fact, when he came, he said he seen my daughter. Uh, going for a marriage, and as at that time, we, you know, she just she was still very young. I wasn't expecting that, you know. But when he mentioned it, in fact, when he himself saw her that this is my only daughter, you know, he was a little bit. <laughs> but that was what he saw, you know. And uh, we started praying about it, and he himself too was also always praying for my daughter, you know. If I were fasted with my daughter, to be very honest, I and my wife were fasted for her. And uh, to our surprise, in less than four months, you know, there is this young man in a dope state, yeah. MC uh, uh, you know, uh, came into my house and uh, wanted to meet with me. So in fact, I was, I didn't know what to say, you know, at the initial I said, what are you after? What are you looking for? You know, and then he said, it's because of my daughter that he came, that uh, he wants to engage my daughter, he wants to marry my daughter. I said, well, it's what I was actually expecting because the prophet has said so. And it came to pass, you know. And the marriage was such a successful one. Dignitaries all over the country, 
the deputy governor was uh, represented the governor of the two states. And so, I mean, it was so unique. One word of prophecy. Yes. Producing a thousand yes. testimonies. Yes. And other ways, God's word has been confirmed in your life. There are so many, you, you know, there are so many because, you know, if you come to TNG often, you hear young men talking about coming in with bedroom slippers and living with you know, buying cars and all that. But one of the most unique things that I want to tell you about the prophet is this. In my personal life, I've experienced good health. My wife's life will be experienced good health. Despite the attack, our prophet is only standing for us. And it's such a unique, such a unique thing, you know, to us. Because before we came to the church, it was almost every now and then we rush we rush to the hospital, especially for my wife. You know, we're always going to the hospital. But since we came to TFG, when there are issues like that, we only go to the prophet for prayers. And there has always been solutions. There has always been answers. We don't spend money for drugs. You know, it, to me, it's such a unique thing. It's not really money, money, money always. Yes, you know, we don't cry out. Yes, you know, but we are also so fulfilled through the prophet. Prophet Omogene is a genuine man of God. I have taken time to study him. His past life, I have known some bits. And I, have, and I know who he is as a prophet of God. I want to tell you today that he is very genuine. A man who was into such business, leaving it for the work of God, is genuine. You know, the automobile business is a very lucrative business. I have friends who have been in it. They, 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 they've been in it for quite some time and they are doing very well. So for Prophet Omogene to humble himself before God to say, God, I want to answer your call, is such a unique thing. I want to tell your entire congregation that Prophet Omogene is a genuine man and to the whole world that is a genuine man of God. You know, such persons are very few amongst us. Very, very few. So I want to say to him in this birthday that God is taking him somewhere. That we will back him wherever he is. Whatever intentions he has, we will back him spiritually. With our financial status, we will, we will always back him. Whatever intentions he has, we will always be there for him. We will run with his, with, with his calling. Whatever that God has deposited upon him, whatever vision he has, we will run with it. We will run with him until the end. Yes. We celebrate greatness. Yes. Remain blessed. Praise God. Amen. All right, God bless you.